Just so you know, this was um, before the difficulty chart changes, which is why I keep referencing this as the um, first Paradise at All video, and it's actually the second. But um, yeah, that that might confuse you, so I just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, enjoy the video. And here it is, Steeple of Aquatic Rallies. This is one of my favourite ones that I've actually played through so far. So first you're just going to go over here and hit this button, it's not too difficult, and then you hop on this, and it's like Cosmopol Trials where you sort of spin around. Then you do the same, over here, and don't, don't be tricked by how short the first floor is. This tower gets longer as you go. The last couple of floors are insanely long, so yeah. And yes, if you're asking, yes, you do go, you do, you do go down the water slide at the end. So. Yeah. So first, you have this. Um, not first. You have this spinner. You got to time that pretty well. And oh yeah, this is the first guide I believe since Rig Nine release when I did one on Great Overcomings. So yeah, we haven't done this. I think this is the longest gap between the guides for a very long time. So yeah. Oh yeah, hop on these moving platforms. Make sure to go on the top of them at all times. And then you just jump over here. Now you're full free. Now there's a quick skip here that you can do, so you can just jump up there, and then hop on these platforms. Lots of people say the sort of green purple colour scheme doesn't work for this tower, I think it works really well, but yeah. Oh yeah, all these war balloons do is they damage you, they don't even damage you that much either, so yeah, you don't need to worry at all. And then you can try and avoid them if you want to. But this doesn't really work. Okay, so now you're on this part. You're almost on floor four. But first, you actually have to do one of the hardest parts in the tower, in my opinion. You gotta, because these poles there can glide through. Don't go there yet, because you need to hit this morpher. And then you're gonna go back down over here. Now you're on floor 4, and you can hit this. There's, you don't need any in keyboard input to, for that part. So, then over here, you just jump, and then you jump onto the truss. This part may confuse you. You need to hit this button, and then you've got to go down, hit this morpher. Most people say this is difficult difficulty. In my opinion, this is peak hard, but yeah. And then you do the same and you go up here. I believe we're almost on five. Yeah, okay. Now these they will bounce you back. They're really hard to see because it's pink on pink. But yeah, just try and And then you gotta go back. And then once you've done that, you hop on these spinners. Going through these wedges, I struggled with that the first time I got here. And then you jump with these platforms. So, this part, this is a very, very, very short no jump session. By the way, go on the side of the truss just so you can flick off. And then you can go over here. Up on this platform. And then I went the wrong way. Yeah. So you gotta jump on this moving platform. You gotta time it really well. You're almost on six as well, so you're almost on the final floor. Oh yeah, another thing that I forgot to mention. If you fall, it's basically a quick reset. You gotta reset. Well, you don't need to, but you basic. There's no button for I guess. Well, there is, but they're all timed buttons, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So once you're here. You simply just do these very simple wraparounds. Here's a guy that's dressed up as Adamir, unless he actually is Adamir, but I highly doubt that. 
Anyway, so yeah, you just do these very simple jumps. I don't remember going here. Maybe I accidentally skipped it. But now we're on six. This zip line is kind of broken, but you'll get it eventually. Just because the moving platform doesn't move really enough for it to be consistent. But um, yeah, this floor is kind of more difficult. It's not too bad. This part is kind of hard to uh, sight read them. As you see, I almost fell. Once you're here, jump on this ladder. And these platform move, and then you go on this conveyor. This conveyor goes really slowly. And then you go through the spinner, and then you jump on it, and then you can go on the ladder. I just realized the music could be too loud, that would be annoying. Once you've done that, you can jump on this conveyor and you can go backwards. Do this wrap around again. And then you can do this section that's just spawned. You've basically beat it now. It will leave you to get a button though. Yes you do. That's the only, like, those two buttons are the only non um, time button. So yeah. And then, you're at the end, so are you ready to go down? So, you'll... If you hit someone on the way down, consider yourself really unlucky. But then, you've hit the wind pad. That seaport was pretty fun, wasn't it? I really like it. I think it's... I, I, I think it's probably the best steeple that I've played in this sub round so far. But can you just appreciate the lobby for this sub round? The lobby for this sub round is probably my favorite lobby in the game by a very long way. So, yeah. Right, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and goodbye.